Hi right, guys, it's Natalie here for Full Time Devils. I'm at Charlton's Ground. United have just won 2 1. And we are top of the league, everybody. We're back where we belong. We've got a game in hand and we've got to play Spurs who are second. So Spurs dropped points just before us. And then, you know, the first half was a bit tense. It's a bit edgy like it was against Reading. But, you know, the girls showed their class. I think Charlton started to tire. And then we just um, got a penalty. Uh, which Zellen put away. I'm really proud of her for doing that. And then um, Sigsworth, our number nine, main main girl with a header, um, made it 2-0. Obviously, Charlton pulled one back because it was 2-1 and it was a bit edgy at the end. So I think, you know, United, they know what they need to do. They know they need to improve when they're gonna, if they're going to go up. So, but everyone of these fans that have come out here who have supported these girls, whether you've watched one game or whether you've watched them all, you know, we're all so proud of them. Can't say any more. You know, this is the way United should play. Casey's doing what, what she said she'd do, playing attacking football. What can we say? Everyone is delighted um, and we're going to win a league. <laughs> See you later, guys. Let's hear from the um, fan cams now. I'm here with Declan and Tyler. It's Tyler, isn't it? What did you think of that? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy because they won the match. Oh, very good. And Declan, what did you think? It was impressive that Manchester United got two goals versus Chilton. That's really good. Um, who was your favourite player and what was your favourite moment? Lisa. Lizzie? Yes. Lizzie, brilliant, fantastic. Declan? All the players. All the players. And are we going to win the league? Yes. Yes. Hey, thank you, guys. Anthony, what do you think of that? Uh, yeah, we got the result, the three points, that was the main thing, mm. especially after knowing that Sheffield United won mm. and the, you can't lie, the girls must have known from our, from us that something had gone down at Sheffield. Well, obviously you're always going to hear things going down um, during a game, but I mean, generally the performance, how did you feel about it? First half, it was a bit like uh, just trying to hit, hit and hope and hope it would bounce to the players. Second half, much better. They tried playing some football and it was a lot better. Mm -hmm. Sell him good penalty, mm -hmm. she took it well, which yeah. uh, I think she was on the pitch last week. I don't know why Greenwood took it last week. And then Sigsworth, she got a great header yeah. from a great cross. And it, no, it was great, great from all of them. And who would you say your girl of the match was? It's so hard because I get in, in the moment yeah. and then I don't ever really think about it. Yeah. But uh, Zellum was quite good. Leah Gorton. Yeah. They all were. They all were impressive, weren't they? Right? And yeah, when you're in in the zone, you don't really think. Oh, mm. I, I better watch out because uh, who, who can I give man of the match to? Because it's, <laughs> it's like that. How you feel? Obviously, five games left. So what's your thought on the rest of the season? Well, we just keep going one game at a time. Mm -hmm get the free point next week big massive massive mm, game definitely. we win that it's five points with f three four, four games ga four left, games left. Yeah. and uh yep yeah, i can't see yeah. can't see any other result than the united win brilliant thank you Mayor sarah sarah what do you think of that i thought the second half was much better than the first uh, and i thought uh, sigsworth did very well both both halves bombing forward and tracking back as well I'm pleased with the win. Sigsworth, obviously, she's she's one of them players where she's not like the top goal scorer, but the things she does off the ball. What's your thoughts on her season? Definitely brilliant. She just puts her heart into it. She never stops. It just is. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, you said the second half was a lot better, which you know a lot of people will sure they'll agree. Um, overall, was there a player of the match, or is it Siggy? What, what do you think? Um, I thought Charlie Devlin did very well when she came on. She was just um, constantly at them and troubling them. So I'd probably pick her, really. Brilliant. And obviously, five games left now. What's your thoughts? We're going to win the league. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. We're going to win the league. And now you're going to... Kat, what do you think of that? Uh, yeah, I think it was... Um... I think it was an important win to get under the belt after last week's disappointment. We've got Spurs coming up. Um, I think uh, second half obviously was a bit more fluid. I think they were trying too hard to make things happen in the first half mm. and it didn't quite come off, but they looked comfortable. Um, and in the second half they showed a bit more composure and it just sort of clicked into place, I think. I think Devlin coming on, the energy changed a bit. Her energy sort of 
brighten things up going forward. I was really impressed with her. I mean, a lot of people have said Devlin, Sigsworth, Zellum. Is there any, I know it's hard, but is there anyone that you could say that was stand out or change the game? Well, uh, Sigsworth is definitely, she put a shift in again today. Um, she did last week and again today. I think I saw her um, run to the back and clearing stuff out of the back as well. She was on every inch of the pitch. Um, but I really liked the work with um, Greenwood and Galton down the left-hand side. I thought they worked really well together and they were constantly going forward and going forward. And, um, I, all of them, really. <laughs> um, obviously, it's five games now. We're top of the league. It's Spurs next, like you said. What's your thoughts for the rest of the season? I think it's looking positive. Um, I don't like to <laughs> um, do too much till it's mathematically... Um, definite but um, Spurs next week is going to be the big one I think you know I, I, I'm confident that we can beat Spurs um, if they play like they have been all season and they've got no problems um, it's just really positive and this win was really important to get under the belt obviously you know they, they got a goal back so it did make it a bit tense yes uh, it did get a bit sort of scrappy towards the last sort of 10-15 minutes um, but my main concern after last week's match was the fact that we'd conceded very quickly after scoring. Um, that didn't happen in the same way this week, so I'm a bit more um, positive about that. Right, brilliant. Thank you for speaking to us. No worries. Cheers. Right, guys, Merv, Ian, Ian, 2-1. You know, we made it a bit edgy at the end, but what do you think of that? First half, disjointed, weren't it? Mm. Didn't, it might have had all the possession in the world, didn't do anything with it. Um, second half, started better. And then, obviously, the penalty obviously changed it. Um, obviously, it was a handball concern when I saw Katie stand up from it. You know, the last two she's missed. But then again, it's good finish at the end. Good finish. Then, obviously, Jess with a header from the corner. Proper Jess goal, you know, middle of the box. Nobody around her. Smashed it home. Then, obviously, when Charlton pulled one back, started to get it. it was a fine finish. I'll give them that. Um, but then, after that, we didn't, they didn't really have a chance. So, all in all... It was a better second half, but it wasn't a good performance overall, in my opinion. I mean, what do you think the change it then in the second half? You know, first half, like you say, disjointed, but second half it came out, got them goals. Quicker play. They were playing quicker, moving forward, getting the ball wide, because that's one thing we were quite slow with in the, in the first half. Um, and then the sub, I think when Charlie came on, gave some more energy up front. You know, Charlie is just an angel of buzz bunny, isn't she? So she, she will run all day. Uh, she chased everything down. Um, unlucky not to score herself. You know, good save from the Charlton keeper. So, um, no, the substitutions probably helped. And obviously then late on bringing on Kirsty Smith just to bolster the back line just in case anything happened. But, no, that's good. good. Yeah, obviously you mentioned a few names there. Charlie's a name that keeps being, be, being brought up. Who was your player of the match then? If I'm honest, I think my player of the game was probably... Leah, she didn't stop going down the left today. Um, as I said, just jointed in the middle, so I, I couldn't say anything. You know, Katie put in a, another good shift, a couple of misplaced passes, but Leah gave her all again down the left, you know, for missing, you know, the end of last season and coming back from where she was. I think she's doing fantastic in her first season back. Brilliant. Thank you for talking with us. Thanks. Hi, I'm Ryan Giggs, and you're watching Full Time Devils. The biggest, the best Man United fan channel in the world. Subscribe now.